Question 146. Cardiac output is defined as volume of blood pumped by each ventricle per minute. Its value in a normal human is approximately 70 ml, 3000 ml, 140 ml, 5000 ml. To calculate cardiac output, we need to know how much amount of blood is pumped out by each ventricle per minute. To do that, we multiply the stroke volume that is the amount of blood pumped out by each ventricle and we multiply it by heart rate that is 72 beats per minute and stroke volume is approximately 70 ml and heart rate is 72 beats per minute which gives us a value of about 5040 ml which is approximately 5 liters of blood is pumped out by heart per minute that is your cardiac output thus the cardiac output is 5 liter approximately in a normal human the correct answer is option number 4 5000 ml whereas option number 1 70 ml is the value for stroke volume and 2 and 3 are incorrect here question 147 in humans, the part of a neuron responsible for receiving stimuli in a chemical synapse is or are dendrites, nissels granules, exons, nerve endings. In a typical neuron students, the dendritic process that you see arising from the cells, these are afferent processes and bring these impulses towards the cell body. So these dendrites are responsible for receiving stimuli in a chemical synapse. Thus, the reception of stimuli is done by dendrites. The correct answer would be option 1. Option number 2, Nissel's granules are seen as deeply stained granules in the cell body and these are clusters of rough endoplasmic reticulum and ribosomes. Option number three, exon. Exon is the longest process in a neuron which transmits the impulses towards the cell terminal. And these, option number four, these are nerve endings. The correct answer is option number one, dendrites. Question 148, select the incorrect statement about electrical synapses. They are rare in our system. Impulse transmission is faster as compared to a chemical synapse. Pre- and post-synaptic membranes possess a wide gap between them. Neurotransmitters are absent at these synapses. In the question, we have to select the incorrect statement about electrical synapses. Now remember that majority of synapses in our body or in human body are chemical synapses. Whereas electrical synapses are very rarely found in our body although electrical synapses are faster than a chemical synapse. So option number one that they are rare in our system is a correct statement. Yes, that is true. The chemical synapses have a majority in human body systems, whereas electrical synapses are rare. Option two, impulse transmission is faster as compared to a chemical synapse. That is also correct. This is slower and these are faster in comparison to each other. Option 3, pre and post synaptic membrane possess a wide gap between them. In an electrical synapse, the pre and the post synaptic neuron, these are connected together by something called as connections. And pre and post synaptic neurons are in very close proximity. So the presence of a wide gap between them would be incorrect. Thus, this is an incorrect statement. And option 4, neurotransmitters are absent at these synapses. That's true. The transmission of impulse through neurotransmitters occurs at chemical synapse. Whereas in electrical synapses, gap junctions are present which bring about the ionic transfer for the conduction of signals. So the only incorrect statement here is option number 3 and that is our answer. Question 149. Which of the following is not true for hypothalamus? 
It is a part of midbrain. It is a thermostat of the body. It is neuroendocrine in function. It interacts with anterior lobe of pituitary gland with hypothalamo hypophyseal portal vein or system. Let's analyze all the given options. We are looking for an incorrect statement with respect to hypothalamus here. Option 1, it is a part of midbrain. That's incorrect. Hypothalamus is a part of forebrain. So option 1 is not true. It is thermostat of the body. That's true. The body temperature is regulated by hypothalamus and that's why it's called as thermostat. So, so this is true. It is neuroendocrine in function. This is also a correct statement because here you can see in the diagram the hypothalamus interacting with the anterior pituitary with this hypothalamo hypophyseal portal vein system. Hypothalamus secretes releasing or tropic hormones. So this is also a true statement. The only incorrect statement here is option 1 which is our answer. Question 150. Cell mediated immunity is provided by T lymphocytes. Which hormone is responsible for the differentiation and functioning of T lymphocytes? Thyroxin, thymosin, vasopressin, thyrocalcitonin. The hormone is asked which is responsible for differentiation of T lymphocyte. Differentiation of T lymphocytes is brought about by thymosin hormone or thymosins is released by thymus which brings about this differentiation. Thus the hormone responsible would be option number 2 thymosin here. Thymus degenerates in older individuals lowering down the immunity of the body. Option number 1 thyroxin regulates the basal metabolic rate. Vasopressin has an effect on the glomerular filtration rate and sodium absorption and water conservation. And lastly option for thyrocalcitonin it's hypocalcemic, thus maintaining and regulating the calcium balance in the blood. The correct answer is option 2, thymosin.